Hi, welcome back. I'm spending a few minutes here with my friend. This is Mr. J, and he's a little blue J, and, and he stays with me right now. And that's one of the cutest little rascals watching here. I thought you might enjoy seeing him, but he's just a little baby, little baby bird, and I thought you might enjoy meeting him. Tell you what, I'm going to set him down, and we'll go ahead and get started. While I'm doing that, let's have him run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along today. And I'm just going to set him right over here. There you go. Okay. And while they're running the colors across the screen, let's go on ahead here and get started. I'm going to start out today, take a tiny bit of the thalo blue, and I reach right up here. I'll be right back, right back, and get a little bit of the lizard crimson. So I have thalo blue and alizarin crimson. There we go. And you just mix these on the brush. And let's go right up here. I thought today maybe we'd just do a, a happy little painting. I've already covered the canvas with a nice thin even coat of the liquid white. So it's all wet. It's ready. So we can get started now. Just using little crisscross strokes, we can begin just putting in a happy little sky. A little more of the color. There. And I'm just sort of varying the crimson and the blue proportionately so we have different mixtures. Some of it's a little bit to the reddish side, some's a little bit to the bluish side. I want this to be a very soft little painting today. Very quiet, very soft. There we go. And maybe right on over here. Just wherever you want them. Just putting some pretty little things in the sky. Still using little crisscross strokes. There. A little more of the crimson, a little more thalo blue. And let's go right up in here. There we go. Just put those in. Yeah. Down to about like so. We really don't have to make any big decisions yet. Okay, let's wash our brush. And we'll scrub it with odorless thinner. And there's a screen here in the bottom of my can that I scrub the brush against. That allows the solid materials to sort of settle to the bottom. Shake it off, <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. Now then, that brush clean has got to be the most fun part of the whole technique. With a clean, dry brush, we can just blend this guy together. That's continually mixing with the liquid white, so all these beautiful little effects just happen automatically. And you can just, just blend it to any degree of lightness that you want. The more you blend it, the softer it's going to become. You sort of have to just make a big decision. There. Just blend it. Still using little crisscross strokes. Like so. Okay, then very lightly, just barely touching. You just go across, and that takes all the brush strokes out and softens, blends everything together. There. Now then. Tell you what, let's have some fun. Go right back into the crimson and back over here to the, the thalo blue, same colors. And I'm just mixing them on the brush. Just mix them right on the brush. Maybe there's some little, little trees that live back here in the distance. All you gotta do is touch the canvas and just pull it down. Just touch, pull downward. See there? They're very light, very subdued, quiet little trees. Just sort of decide where you want them to live, and that's exactly where they are to live. There we go. See, wherever you want them. Isn't it fantastic that you can create a world that easy? Hmm. Maybe, 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 right up here, like so. There. Hope you enjoyed my little friend. He's He's quite a character. He's a little blue jay, he's just a few weeks old. On one of the earlier shows, I had shown a robin that I raised and turned loose. And a lot of people wrote and wanted to know how he was doing. He's doing fantastic. We turned him loose. And he's out living with all of his friends now. And in a few weeks, we're going to turn this little blue jay loose. Now I'm going to take a clean brush. I want to create the illusion of mist at the base of this. So, very firmly. Tapping with the top of the brush, just tap. This will create a very, very soft, misty effect. Just tap it 
really get in there and tap it. This is where you take out all your frustrations and hostilities. There. It's better than going home and arguing with your spouse. See there? Just tap very firmly and then lightly, lightly. Just lift upward. See how soft and misty that becomes? That quick. There we are. Okay, maybe, maybe. Let me find a fan brush here. There's one. Let's mix up a little bit more of that lavender here. Some blue, lizard crimson. And I'll just mix some with a knife. Be right back, get a little bit of white. I want to lighten that just a little bit. Maybe a touch more of the crimson. There we go. Good. Good. Okay, let me clean off my knife here. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of that on the fan brush. Just work the brush back and forth. And maybe back in here, maybe right there. Maybe there's a happy little evergreen tree that lives right there. And all you do is just work it back and forth. We'll just let him fade right into nothing down here. Softer, softer, softer. And we'll give him a friend. However many trees you want, dear world. That's exactly the right number. Air. Okay. Maybe, tell you what, don't want this side left out. Let's put one that lives right there. Just back and forth with a brush. And we want him just to fade right into the mist. We'll come back and tap a little bit and make it even mistier. I like these little misty paintings. Sometimes you'll find that Paintings that are very soft and misty may be a little more difficult to do than ones that are bright and shiny. But either way, either way, whichever kind of painting that you like and you want to do, that's the right kind. There. Okay. Now back to my two-inch brush, and we'll gently tap this. We'll just tap it and bring it right into nothing. It's very soft. Lift upward. See? They just sort of float around down in the mist. There. Okay, tell you what, while we got that old brush, I'm going to take that same brush, leave the, the lavender color that we had on it, and add a little bit of the Van Dyke brown. Same color. Lavender with a little bit of Van Dyke brown, just to darken it up a little. Let's go right up in here. Maybe right over in here. We just tap downward. Maybe there's a just a little group of trees that live right in here. Bushes and trees and all kinds of little things. See there? Just let them work right on out to nothing. There! There we go. Can you, can you hear Mr. J over there still talking? He thinks it's lunchtime. Okay, and maybe there's a more distinct tree or two in here. Same way. There. We'll give him another one. Like so. That's all there is to it. All there is to it. You can put as many or as few of these in your painting as you want. Now, once again, with our large brush, I want to create that illusion of mist. Just very soft. Barely touching. There. Now, toward the, the bottom of this, you want to hit harder than up here. Up here, I'm not hitting very hard. Down here, I'm striking quite firmly, like so. There. Just really get in there and tap it. And then, once again, lift very gently upward. Yeah, maybe you want to put here and there the indication of a more distinct tree or bush. Maybe there's a different kind of tree. You, you can still just use the top corner of this brush. Just put in, see? Just tap it, turn it, so you build a general shape. And you can create the illusion of any kind of little tree or bush that you want back here. That easy. Them. You can just pull downward. Okay, 
the other side of the brush is still pretty clean, so we can tap it. And once again, create that illusion of mist there. Hmm. Looks like it's maybe early in the morning and the fog hasn't been burned off by the sunshine. Very soft. Shoot, we're having so much fun. Let's just keep on going here. I'm just going to take the old two-inch brush and tap it right into some of that same color. Just tap it like so. Okay, now then, maybe there's some land masses that live in here. Now you have to start making some big decisions. Where does your land live? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, right along in there. All we're doing now is putting in a dark color so our light will show. You need dark in order to show light. Sort of like, sort of like life itself. You need a little sadness in your life so you know when the good times come. And it's the same here. You need a little dark so you know when the light's there. There. Just let that come right down like that. Just layer after layer. There we go. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, over here, same way. All I'm doing, once again, is just blocking in a base color here. Just blocking it in. Like that. A bit more there. Okay. See there, already you're beginning to see the lay of the land though. This is good practice for when you're putting your highlights on. Okay, let's go back over here and put a little more over in here. There we are. And that quickly, we filled up this whole area. Now you could just paint it on but I find that it works better by tapping it so you can begin to make out all these little indications of the land flowing and moving here. Yeah. There we go. Now then, let's take and begin applying some highlights to that. I'll just use the same old brush here. I'll go right into a small amount of the cad yellow, and because it has all the blue and the lavenders on it here, when I touch the yellow, it's going to turn a beautiful green color. And tap the brush like that. Tap it. Load some color into the bristles, okay? Now then, here's where we begin putting on all the little highlights, the pretty part. See there? And all you're doing is just barely touching. I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow ochre and the Indian yellow. Maybe even throw in a little touch of bright red here and there as we paint along. Just to break it up and give it all kinds of beautiful little colors. But in your world, you sort of look at it and decide what you want. There. Maybe over here. There we go. We don't want this side left out. See there? Put all kinds of little things in there. one, wherever you want them to go, just that easy, okay, but all you're doing here is tapping, and the more you tap, the softer this will become, you can make it to where it absolutely just looks like velvet, so soft, that's so pretty when you do it that way, and at home you have more time than I do, you can take your time and do something that looks much, much nicer than this. tap. There. This is very simple and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Give it a try. You know, I get, and I've said this before, I get letters every week from people all over the country that tell me they have finally, finally picked up the old brush and they're painting some of the most fantastic paintings. They never believed that they could do it. And you really can. You don't have to be blessed by Michelangelo at birth, you can paint. All you need 
It's a little bit of equipment. Somebody to show you how, and that's, that's our job. We show you how. And practice. You do need to devote a little time to practice. There we go. If you're like most of us, you didn't learn to tie your shoe on the first time you tried it. And it's the same here. With practice, it'll get easier and easier. There. Okay. Just bring it right on across like this. There. A little touch of the bright red here and there. We'll sparkle this rascal up. Just a little. Doesn't take much. but already in this short of time it looks like a whole meadow out here just very soft this would be a super place to <laughs> take your shoes off and sort of just run through there barefooted and find your big old tree and sort of kick back and just just enjoy God's beauty there okay a little bit right down in here like so. But follow the lay of the land. It's most important here that you follow the basic lay of the land and work from back to front, forward, 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 all the time. There. Okay. All right. Now we can have some fun. Tell you what. Grab my knife here. I think my friend Mr. Jay's approving here. He's over here squawking. I don't know if you can hear him or not, but he's sitting here with me. Yeah, what you think, huh? Okay. He says we're doing all right. Use the fan brush here. We'll just, we'll mix up some dark color. We had some black and some Prussian blue, some Van Dyke brown, a little touch of crimson. Let's go right up here. Maybe there lives back in our world here, right there. Maybe there's just a happy little tree that lives right there. See, and just all we're doing is tapping with a fan brush. Just give him a little tap. And that makes those nice little fuzzy edges. Okay, now then, maybe there's a leaf or two out here on this tree. There. And all you're doing is touching and pushing downward here. And use the shape of the fan brush to your advantage probably noticed we use absolutely no patterns here I don't I don't like to draw my painting out because it gives you restrictions and then you have to stay in the lines shoot this is such a free form of painting that we just sort of start off and, and go with it let it happen and within a very short time if you practice you learn to compose your paintings as you paint another question that I'm asked continually is if we do any editing on these shows. Now, I know some of the shows have editing. We do not. There's absolutely no editing here. What you see actually happens in the time that you see it happen. There. See there? With that easy, you can make a happy little tree. Let's give him, a, let's give him another little friend right there. Just as many or as few as you want. This will give you a little practice and show you how to do it. Decide where you want the little little limbs to hang and how far they go. Drop them in. Back with our brush with a little bit of color on it. A little bit of the yellowing. Come down here and clean up his little foots. Like so. There. Put a little dark color down here to indicate there's a little shadow living under this tree. There. See there? That's all there is to it. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Let's get crazy. Let's have some fun today. I'm going to take the small knife, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, and go right up in here. And let's, let's put some land in, right in this little rec recessed area here. Let's just scrub in a little bit of land. And I'm just using straight Van Dyke Brown. Just scrubbing it in, using a 
quite a firm pressure here. I really want this paint to be mashed right into the canvas. Looks like a little path out through there. Just sort of wanders around. And you could make a beautiful little path there. That easy. If you wanted one. Once again, painting is such an individual thing. All we want to do here is show you how to do things. What you do is totally up to you. This is your world, and you, you create it the way that you want it. And if you like it, then it's right, and it's good. Painting, as I say over and over again, painting should make you happy. If it doesn't make you happy, you're doing the wrong thing. I spent half my life doing a job that I really didn't want to do. And now, now I'm doing what I want to do. And now work is fun. And I've met so many fantastic people through, uh, through the joy of painting. And that may be the most fun at all. I've made friends that, I, gee, I just, I just never, never dreamed. And that's super. There we go. Just put a little dark here and there. Okay. Now then, let me find the fan brush. Okay, we'll take a fan brush. We'll go right into our yellows. A little bit of green. Load the brush full of color, a little yellow ochre. And let's go right up in here and let's just push in some happy little bushes that come right down in this little dirt area here. Just right down to the edges. That sort of brings it together. Like so. Just brings it all together. I have several fan brushes going, so I don't have to spend all my time cleaning brushes. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do here. I'm going to take a little liquid white on my fan brush, and I'm going to go right into some titanium white. Be right back. I'll reach up here and get the least little touch of phthalo blue. So I have liquid white to make it thinner, titanium white, and a touch, just a touch, of phthalo blue. Load the brush full of color. Now back to our golden rule here. A thin paint will stick to a thick paint. So let's have some fun. See, we had a nice path up here. Now watch. Maybe. Doop, look at there. Maybe in your world, there's a little trickle of water that flows right down through here. It makes just a bubbling little, little waterfall, a little stream. Just let it play. Come right on down. Bloop, wherever you want it to go. See there? Just let it go. Let it have fun. There. Now, the thin paint will stick right over the top of this thicker paint without it becoming mud. Now, every once in a while, you may have to stop, wipe your brush off, but that's okay. Overall, you'll get a, a very nice effect here. Look at that. Just a little trickle of water is playing through the, through the metal here, and it's just having a good time. Tell you what, let's have some fun, maybe. Go grab some Van Dyke Brown on the fan brush. Tell you, maybe, yep, right here. Let's just drop in a big tree, bigger tree. He lives right there. A little black, a little brown. And onto that, put in a few, just a few leaves here and there. As many or as few as you want. Let's get crazy. You know me. I like these old big trees, maybe. Right there. Be brave. This is your bravery test. Just brown and black. You don't have to be too careful here. Just, just sort of knock it in. Tell you what, oh, we got that brush going. Let's put a tree on the other side. Come right over here with me. And, yep, right here. lives a big old tree. See, all you're doing is just firmly tapping. There, give him a big root down here. Now then, I have another brush that we were using for the stream that has white on it. So I'll take it and go right down the side 
and that'll make the highlight side of this tree. And you can just blend that right together. Isn't that a sneaky way to make a beautiful little tree? Okay, over here, this one needs some too. Just like so. Put the lightest on the edge and then blend it back. Lighter, 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 lighter. Gentle touch, very gentle. Okay, now then let's take some paint thinner. A little paint thinner on our liner brush. We'll go right into some brown. This should be thin, all oh, just almost like oh, ink. Let's go right up here. Maybe, oh, maybe there's a big old branch that hangs down right there. Got a little arm that comes out through here. If you have trouble making your paint flow, then it's just not thin enough. Add some more thinner. There. Okay, a few little things here and there. Wherever you want them. A couple over here. Like that. The old clock on the wall tells me it's about time to leave you for today. As I'm finishing this up, I'd like to thank you very much for being with me today. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this painting. Hope you enjoyed meeting my little friend. And we'll be back with you again. So on behalf of the entire Joy Painting staff, I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless. <laughs>